Listen, y'all done worked my nerve today. I'm not finna see and get into it with y'all. And they, I'm already sitting here pissed off. I'm already hot in all the wrong places. And I ain't got time. You see, I got my church fan out. Because, honey, we ain't got time for this. But nonetheless, we're going to get right on to this topic here. Is the Wayne Wade gay? The question that everybody sitting here seems to want to know, including Shade Room. Let's get into it. So, y'all, look, listen. Let me tell you, I hadn't got me an old sickening nap, honey, because, you know, I had to get my beauty erased because, you know, I came out here looking like some of you dry face hoes out here, don't be something here, don't understand how to moisturize and how to get that proper sleep, you know, how to sit here and keep them teeth looking flawless, okay? So I had to sing get my beauty rest and stuff so I can come to y'all all refreshed, girl, because you know we are all like family up in this joint. Yes, get into it. So with that being said, minding my own business, right? Hopped on my iPad when I woke up and I read at the shade room has posted and I'm going to see him show you a picture. Roll that beautiful picture. So, as you saw in the video, it seems that Dwayne Wade is, you know, testing out colors with his hair um, while seeing him playing with his daughter, Zaya. Yes, his daughter, because it's not a he. Get it right, first of all. And second of all, what is it to us, even if he is out here dying this hair, first of all, what do it matter? Matter of fact, why are we all up in this man's business? And see, the thing that irks me the most is that people are in the damn comment section, got all this little shit to see and say, talking about, oh, I see him, no one of his, no one of that boy done sit here and turn into a woman. Look at his daddy. Look at his daddy. Look, first of all, let me just go ahead and correct you right there. Let's back up. Let's rewind this. Break it up. Break it down. Break it down. Back it up. Back it up. Okay, so with that being said, let's just see and get right into it. First of all, Zaya has her own personality, okay? She's a very upcoming, upstanding, talented, young female, okay? Let's get that right first and Second foremost. Second of all, her daddy ain't got nothing to see and do as far as how she's seen and ended up turning out. Have you ever seen and thought about maybe that's who she was all along deep down inside? See, this is the problem that I have with society. Society is so quick to say, especially people in the church community, people of the black community, okay? Especially those people. It'd be our own kind to be here, to be the first to quick to tear us down and to sit here and, and pretty much throw stones at us and rocks at our ass, all because of the fact that, you know, people want to sit and say, oh, well, you must be gay because, you know, somebody in your family must have influenced you. Look, I am a bisexual man. I'm going to sit here and tell you right now, I have been through the ringer when it comes to going through shit. I have been molested, sexually abused, everything else in between. But one thing I can sit here and say is standing in the skin that I am today, I still would have turned out to be a bisexual male through it all, no matter what. And the reason why I say that is because when I was young, you know, back in the day before any of this stuff happened to me, yeah, I did have an attraction to men. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Yeah, that's, that used to be something I used to be scared of saying because I was so worried about what people were saying. Think about me. But girl, I can see and give, give two shits what people saying got to say and say now. I can see and really care less. It really don't even concern what people saying and think because people are just like hoes. Okay, everybody got an opinion and everybody got a hold it. That being said, it is what it is. And that's one thing that we have to learn how to accept when within ourselves and within other people is that maybe this person is just who they are, just for who they are. Now going back to Zaya's father. Dwayne Wade is not gay. Clearly, y'all can see and see that he is married to a gorgeous black strong woman gabrielle union and i'm quite sure even if he is just, let's just hypothetically throw it out there even if even though i don't feel that the ish is true at all but if the man is bisexual at the most who cares it is what it is when dennis Rodman was out here doing all that crazy shit i'm quite sure he was getting more you know what 
when it comes to the female department than any of you other people out here that saying got something to say and say about Dwayne Wade. But y'all ain't say nothing about that though. Y'all ain't say nothing about the fact that Dennis Rodman out here seeing dying his hair 24 colors, okay? Looking like damn 6'9. Y'all ain't saying nothing about that. Y'all ain't say nothing about that. And speaking of 6 9 his ass out here wearing a damn lace front, honey, with all of the damn skittles of the rainbow on it. But y'all ain't said nothing about that. I ain't heard y'all say not a doggone thing about that. But yet instead, though, here this man is. I see an intellectual black father interacting with his daughter because I don't care what none of you hoes say. It's his daughter at the end of the day. And they ain't got nothing to do with the fact of, oh, well, you know, I, I knew it was something going on because, you know, every time I turn around, Dwayne Wade, he always wearing these tight ass shorts and these little suits. And he's, you know, he's always wearing these loud, you know, flamboyant colors and he getting his, he's getting his toenails painted once again. But when Dennis Robin was doing the itch back in the day, y'all didn't say nothing about that. And he was out here dating all kinds of people. As a matter of fact. Word in the street is he was dating some of the most high profile celebrity women there was back in the day. And I'm quite sure that the reason why they said accepted him was because of the fact that he was true to himself. Another case in point, Prince. Y'all ain't said not one thing about Prince. Prince out here walking was out here walking around in damn six inch stilettos, if not higher. And we ain't said not one thing about Prince. We accepted Prince for who he was, and we still knew the man was straight. No matter how flamboyant, no matter how feminine, no matter whatever the case was, we still liked the Prince for who he was. But here it is, Dwayne Wade, a person who's just trying to embrace his daughter, to show his daughter that she can live in her truth. She don't have to be afraid to hide who she is. Maybe he's just trying to encourage his daughter. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe he's just trying to be more open-minded instead of some of you closed-minded people out there who always got something to sit here and say about other folks and their family and how they raise their family. Yet instead, we got people out here like Lil Boozy out here talking about, well, you know, let me go out here and get a grown-ass woman to go and sit here and pretty much molest my son because that's what it was. Is molesting my, is, was molesting his children just so to prove a point that they won't see him grow up to be gay. Now, first of all, that has not been a proven fact that just because you can you, you go and see him sleep with a woman or you go and see him get sex from a woman or get hair from a woman, a woman, that does not make you straight. I know plenty of people out here, gay, DL, whatever the case, plenty of men out here who have probably be getting out here getting more kitty cat than anything else still be gay. You may not know it, but trust me, they are out there. So just because of the fact that you think you can influence somebody, you think that you can push off influencing of somebody to be straight, it does not work that way. If a person likes what they like, they just like what they would like. And see, this is something that, you know, I, I try so hard to stay away from because, like I said, I do have people that I'm quite sure that will watch this video and they'll be like, you know, well, I guess Tristan finally then decided to sit here and be gay. Look. At the end of the day, let me tell you something. It has taken me 31 years to get to this point where I'm at now to feel confident to say I am a bisexual man. With that being said, I like men, women, trans, you name it. There is no cutoff as to what I matter of fact. Some even might call me a pansexual, but, but to keep it simplified for some of you people that may not be that open minded. You know, I just keep it simple as bisexual because I like men and women. And, and at the end of the day, whether you trans or, you know, whether you a man, I, if you were trans, you live your life as a female, you are a female. I don't care what anybody say. That's how, that's my prerogative. That's how I see it as. You can see and get mad all you want to. Take it with Jesus because I ain't got nothing to do with it. But the thing that I'm mad about is that people is out here roasting this man in Shade Room. In Shade Room, y'all petty as hell. For out here even posting this mess, trying to see him throw shade at this man, knowing good time well that people was going to roast his behind in the comments talking about, oh, I can see why his child is gay. He ain't got nothing to do with the influence of why his child is like it is, is, is like she is. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe if she wasn't able to embrace who she was, she probably would have committed suicide by now. She probably would not even be here with us by now. And then what y'all would have said, y'all would have been out here seeing him moping and crying, talking about, oh my God, you know, it's just so sad. You know, he, he, he and then y'all would have been calling her. He, he could never be himself. No, it's she could never be herself because of the fact that y'all, 
y'all are not as open-minded. Y'all are not accepting. Society is what is the problem with people when it comes to accepting things like this. And we need to be more compassionate and have a little bit more, just a little bit more love shown towards these fathers who are out here really trying to show their children that it is okay to be whoever you are. Instead of people like little boozy ass out here going hiring grown ass women to molest his kids. But we ain't saying nothing about that, huh? Oh, we done left that subject alone, okay? Just like R. Kelly out here pissing on people, okay? We done left that subject alone too. Yeah, exactly. My point exactly. But y'all want to see him roast the Wayne Wade talking about, oh my God, he always in tight suits. Oh my God, he always in here doing some feminine-ish. Oh my God, I would never see him have a child who gonna see him and just think that she just gonna, you know, just tell me what she gonna see him be. Look, that's the problem right there. All, all of that, what I just said right there, that's the problem. So, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, this out here, whoever may be watching this, if you or you know somebody who may, you know, you, you, you look at them and you may, you know, want a Jesuit by his cover, think twice because like I said, you never know what a person is going through. And like I said, when I, when I look at Dwayne Wade, I don't see a gay man. What I see is a regular human being that is trying to sit here and embrace his daughter for who she is as a person. To help her become a strong, independent-minded person. To help her become a, a person as far as a grown woman, a better person as far as a grown woman when it comes to hopefully, hope, hopefully encouraging other people to follow their dreams as well. That's what I see when I look at this. I don't see and see a person who is trying to see and hide who he is, okay? And like I said, what that man do in the bedroom game, that, that, that has nothing to do with us. Unless your name is Gabrielle, first name Gabrielle, last name you, it is none of your business what that man does in the bedroom. I'm not too much concerned what that man does in the bedroom. All I'm concerned is the fact that what he's doing right now to show us that, hey, I am going to be a supportive father for my child. Because I'm going to tell you right now, my dad, my dad done seen him and told me already that, you know, who cares if I was molested? It don't matter. It don't matter, Tristan. So what? It happened to you. And he's also sitting here and out at me to my family to go and see and tell them that the reason why he don't with me is because of the fact that I am gay. So, like I said, before y'all want to see him place judgment on a man, just think about it for a second. Just think about it. Really sit here and think about what you are seeing, the words that are coming out of your mouth, because words hold power. And that's all I got to say. Like, share this video, subscribe, Mr. Six Feet Eight. I will be posting more content, coming back at you with new content every day. And stay tuned. Also, you can catch me on May the 27th at 930. I will be discussing on a panel with two guests, strong black men, uh, silent artists, and D-Star hairstylists. We will be discussing, um, coming from our series, A Seat at the Table, which is basically getting into topics such as this right here that I'm talking about now. They're just different serious topics. And I'm going to be doing a two-part series. Be sure to catch it. It's called A Misconception of a Bisexual Man. I will be posting the flyer out here on some... We're on at the end of this video, so just be sure to stay tuned. May 27th, 9.30 p.m. Also, you can catch me Friday nights, every Friday at 9.30, Mr. 68, Grown and Sexy Fridays, After Dark Series, where we see him turning up, we get our wine glasses, and we just have a good time. Uh, you know, kicking it. Anyway, I'm not going to hold y'all on. I thank y'all for y'all time, and I love you, fun sizers. Stay blessed.